name is Ryan Noble. I'm 34 years old. So I came up with the idea sometimes about two years ago. Um, I had a smaller studio in East Nashville, uh, and I toured this building and really just decided to jump in on it. Really didn't know what it was going to be. Um, so I brought a lot of friends in who are just kind of diverse creatives, and everyone kind of had a different idea of what they wanted to do in the space. Um, and so it was like sometimes it could be a dance studio and sometimes it could be an art gallery and sometimes um, it could be this and that and so that name just kind of stood out to me um, and that's really how sometimes was born and it, it kind of has a hard stop to it like a, it's sometimes period um, so if anyone ever asks is it this they're like sometimes <laughs> and so it's like cut and dry so I draw a lot of my inspiration from just naturally things I witness or experience around me. Um, I love aesthetics, so I really can't, when I do a piece of artwork, I really can't say what the inspiration is drawn from until really afterwards, um, because it could be a museum that I went to a few years before, or a sign I saw riding down the road, or you know, a conversation I had with a friend, or a piece of music. Um, and it really, it comes to form when it does. And so I really, I never know what it's gonna be inspired by until the finished piece. Um, and so the inspiration for sometimes is really just the people who have made it what it is. The goal for the studio is really just to give people a platform and just give creatives a place to work or display their art or hang out um, and just a place where people can feel themselves and naturally let things come out of them um, onto canvas or onto the dance floor or into a microphone. Um, the goal for the place is, is just to keep the ball rolling on um, so much art that's happening in Nashville and to let people feel that they don't have to book a huge venue or a huge space to feel like they're in with the really talented people or, or they're you know doing big things. I went to school for art in high school. Uh, I went to like a magnet art program for two years and then really kind of lost my passion in it um, for maybe like 10 years or so, I'd say. Uh, I went to school for business with a minor in advertising, thinking I could like write TV commercials or do something in that creative realm. But I really just became like an ad salesperson and I was in this office business world just kind of like doodling on my paper all the time. And it wasn't until I moved here and just met some local artists where we would just like draw at the bars to where I really figured out that this is like what I want to do all the time. I would call myself a sort of an artist um, and it just didn't have that confidence yet to say, you know, this is what I do full time. This is where my money comes from. Um, this is my body of work. I had a good friend named Aaron Martin who I met um, through my buddy Taylor when I moved here and he was he was really the only one of my friends that wasn't totally music. He was on the art side too. And we would just meet up at like Three Crow or Mickey's and we would draw on like a piece of printer paper with a Sharpie and like I would draw like an eye and then he would turn into an arm and then like a tree would come out of it. And it would just turn into these like huge pictures of just everything. But they were like, they were beautiful. And we would just leave them at places and it really like took me out of that like art has to be something, or I have to start something knowing what the finished product is gonna be. So the art scene in Nashville, uh, it's very music focused, of course, uh, but that definitely opens a lot of gateways for visual artists. Like the first art projects I did, uh, I did like a mug and t-shirt design for a recording studio, and then I did a few posters for a, a showcase called Spew Fest. I did some South by Southwest posters and then it turned into album art. And really like mainly most of the art I was doing for the first couple of years was all somewhat to do with music. Um, there was even something I was contracted to uh, where I was supposed to do paintings to a musician's work. Um, and you see so many great videos coming out of Nashville too. And I think it just all ties together is uh, Visual artists are inspired by musicians who are inspired by video people who are inspired by writers and it all just becomes kind of this this whole gaggle of just beauty. Um, and so yeah, I think the art scene is really budding here. Um, there's 
there's galleries opening up everywhere. Um, it's cool to see that there's like competition um, because I don't really see it as, as a bad thing. It's just there's more and more art everywhere and I like the art, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I think Nashville's art scene is very bright um, and just love to be a part of it.